Hey guys, Level Cap here, and today we're gonna be doing an office tour of my new gaming slash working office. Recently we moved down to San Diego, so I had to get a whole new office, and uh, I think it's a bit of an upgrade from my last one. It's certainly bigger. Now as you can see in the center, I've got my gaming desk with that big truss system up there that uh, holds the speakers and lights and all other kinds of equipment and then it's uh, on a sit-stand desk and it's actually in standing mode right now so I can stand up and work and game and I'll show you the details of that one in a little bit. On the right we've got my sort of technology and geeky gadgets shelf. Uh, I bought these when we moved into the place and I think they look pretty good. Uh, let's check it out in further detail. I've got some old school games up there and then some new school games. The my Call of Duty 4 back when it came in uh, boxes like that. Then I've got um, this uh, Titanfall Collector's Edition thing. Of course, some, some Stormtrooper stuff. My autographed Mark Hamill um, photograph there. Giant Darth Vader. Little, oh yeah, they get, YouTube gave me this, I think, when they started doing the YouTube streaming thing. It was sort of like an invitation to stream on YouTube, which I don't think I ever have. And then down here we've got uh, some... Adventure Time Legos, which I was pretty pumped for when those came out. Software, my YouTube 100,000 subscribers button. I got the a million one somewhere, but it actually I was having trouble finding a spot to put it in this office. We've got uh, some old school Magic the Gathering cards over here, the Domo. Down here I've got like motherboard boxes, which have got uh, like parts, computer parts in there. I do my own work on my computers a lot of the time. Uh, basic tools for maintenance. And then uh, we got a, a little Samus action figure down here. And then this guy is like a Russian, like, uh, Spetsnaz type operator. I don't know. He's pretty cool. Um, There's like a, a phase where I ordered a couple of these guys because I just thought they looked really cool. And they look just like the figures from Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4. More junk down here. Oh, yeah. Here's like some, some rounds. But I, I thought this one was awesome because this round right here, this shell, is uh, what they fire out of the A-10 Warthog through the chain gun. Can you imagine these things? I mean, these things are designed to pierce tank armor and it shoots them through a chain gun. I always thought that was kind of fascinating. Obviously, the, the casing is real, but uh, the, the tip is not real. That's made out of aluminum, because aluminum, I think the originals are actually made from depleted uranium, and I think that's kind of a no-no for buying on eBay. What, what are you guys doing? What? Are you trying to mess up my office tour? These are my two dogs, Xena and Ripley. They bug me pretty much all day, every day, but they're so cute. So I forgive them for barking and ruining voiceovers all the time. They're like part Chihuahua, part, part Border Collie, and then um, I think there's even a little bit of Jack Russell Terry. Ripley, what are you doing? She just likes to bury her head. <laughs> under things. Yes, okay, 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 okay. Alright, so the gaming desk on the right side we've got some sound foam which I just grabbed from my old office and was able to put up here. More sound foam, more paperwork and stuff over there. Um, sound foam in the corners up there, sound foam in the corner down there. I got my um, RE20, I think? Yeah, RE20 microphone that I use for recording. Really like this thing, still using an old uh, Rode arm there. Down below we've got my two Origin PCs. These guys are my workhorses. Uh, the white one over there is the uh, earlier one that I had. I've, I've had even earlier ones than this and then this one is my most recent. In fact, I think Origin's making me a new one pretty soon so I'm excited for that. Uh, gaming computer and then render computer over there and I have them both networked in the back with a, a network cable that's a, a 10 gigabyte network cable and I have two 10 gigabyte network cards put in there so that they can talk to each other really fast because I'm constantly working with like gigabytes of video every day and I can record directly from this PC onto that PC through the 10 gigabyte network card because it, it doesn't slow down transfer speeds at all. It's basically like having the drive in my gaming computer. So it's kind of nice. My gaming computer can remain relatively untouched. It only has one hard drive in it and then this machine has like six hard drives in it. All right, now when it comes to my actual computer setup here, uh, most of it is pretty similar to the last computer setup I did. Uh, I've got this older Razer, um, I think this is like a tournament edition stealth keyboard or something like that. I should probably get a new one because the little USB cable on the back here is getting kind of loose and it disconnects every now and then. 
um, cell phone charger. Then we got the RME Babyface Pro. This thing is awesome. It is an expensive piece of hardware. Uh, you can see my voice right now because it's picking up on the mic. But um, this is what I used to record. It allows me to have as many virtual devices on the PC as I want. I got my speakers plugged in on XLR cables, my mic plugged in on an XLR cable, headphones over there, and then everything else is just USB directly into the computer. It simplifies audio mixing immensely, but it's also very pricey. And this was something that I probably should have upgraded to in the beginning because I've gone through so much different audio hardware in the long run. I would have just saved money had I bought that. Then I got M Audio speakers up here, uh, which I'm pretty proud of. I actually mounted these guys here using universal speaker mounts here, and then I cut up some wood and used some um, pipe clamps over there, some hose clamps, to like attach it onto the uh, the truss system. And I've got some LED lighting up there, which I don't use too much, but if I need to do a, a conference call or a Skype call, I can like light myself well so it doesn't look bad and I can also use it for streaming purposes. Over here we've got my uh, HTC Vive which is uh, hanging on a, a little mic hanger over there which is nice. Uh, headphones there and that's hooked up to the secondary PC if I ever want to do some VR stuff. Oh yeah, um, one, of the, one of the nicer things about this office is uh, an air conditioning unit. Let's see, let's turn that on. Oh yeah. This is probably this is actually why I picked this room for my office because having these two PCs running all the time generates a lot of heat. So having a personal AC unit that I can set to whatever I want is really nice. And it's also nice because Natalie doesn't get annoyed that I chill the house down and make it freezing. I only have to chill my office down. Now back over to the mice. Some of you guys might wonder why I'm so fast and accurate in video games. It's because I use a mouse that's uh, designed like a race car. So it's actually more fast than other mice out there. It's, it's kind of my secret to gaming. So if, uh, if a lot of you guys are wondering how to get better at shooting on uh, FPS's on computers, it's the Logitech race car mouse. I don't, I don't think they make this anymore. I don't even remember where I got this actually, but I just thought it was kind of funny. Obviously I'm using uh, a more professional oriented mouse over here. This is the final mouse. Um, the, the company that made this I guess was only going to make one mouse, but I think they're actually coming out with a new one, or they already came out with a new one, and they're going to send me a copy of it soon, so I'll be checking that out. Okay, now when it comes to monitors, this is still, this is still my pride and joy. Acer, it's like XB27 OHU, so I don't know, I wish they would just come up with a simple name, but that's the uh, 144 hertz, 27 inch, 1440p, uh, IPS display. It's incredible. My The only thing I don't like about it is that it only has a display port input. I wish it had um, some of the newer HDMI inputs. I think that would be nice, but uh, I can certainly make do with display port. This is kind of an older BenQ. I think it's 120 hertz refresh rate, um, and I use this for console gaming and stuff because it's got basically every kind of input you could ever want. Brick Vault, in case you guys didn't know, I also run a secondary LEGO YouTube channel, which has been doing really well. We're at like 161,000 subscribers now, and we've been doing it for just over a year. I'm pretty happy with that growth rate, actually. Oh yeah, and before I forget, people always ask me about this little device here. This is a Ergo Rest, I think it's called. Um, and uh, I got it off of Amazon. I'll put links to all of this stuff in the video description just so you know what hardware I'm using. But uh, this is a nice little rest that I use for my keyboard. I used to have one on the right side with the mouse pad as well, but I ended up just putting my elbow right here and getting an extra large mouse pad, which I think is better. Then I've got these uh, Audio-Technica headphones. Um, I don't know if they still make this kind anymore, but the top of these here is like the most comfortable headphone I've ever found. They've got open back and I just, uh, I love the comfort of these and they've also got a great sound stage for uh, positional audio. Now one of my favorite components of this whole setup is the desk itself. This desk is from Human Solutions. I built the whole truss system on it so that everything can move with this electronic sit stand desk. Um, and all I have to do is hit this button here, and it's got the little um, inch readout over there to, to let me know exactly what height it's at so I can actually mimic any other table that I want. But basically it's going into sitting position right now. So if I get tired of standing up, then I can go into sitting position and vice versa. This is great for 
Uh, anybody who works at the computer a lot, you will eventually start to get back problems like no matter what. So changing your stance and position and standing is also good for the heart. Uh, it's just something that uh, has been so helpful for doing lots and lots of video editing over the years. Uh, it's definitely helped out my health. Anyway, that pretty much wraps it up for the office tour here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And of course, I'll be putting links to all the hardware and gadgets that I use in the video description. So if you want to know more details about that, you can check the description. And of course, please ask me questions in the comment section and I'll do my best to answer them. As always, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap, signing off.